What's the best cooler wheel kit? What do they fit on and how do they handle on different terrain? I'll review three main wheel kits, the Badger Wheels, Camco's Cooler Wheel Cart, and one of their knockoffs like the Fullet Wheels or Retrospect Palisade Wheels. I'll show what coolers they fit on, how well they handle on different terrain, and the pros and cons of each, and an overall recommendation. You can find the links in the description to all the coolers and wheels and accessories I talk about. Plus, I'll let you know about a cooler accessory I'm patenting and producing here soon. I'll be sharing it on Kickstarter here soon. I'd love your support when it launches. Subscribe to my channel or follow my Facebook or Instagram page. So what do these fit on? The Badger wheels fit on really any Yeti or Arctic cooler, or really any cooler that has the same kind of foot holes on the bottom and a slot by the handle like the Yeti and Arctic do. Otherwise, they will not attach. The Camco, Fullet, or Retrospect will fit on most coolers as long as they have two things. First, your cooler needs a slot for the tie-down strap to go through by the handle. You can also use the handle itself to attach the wheel strap if the handle is solid, it's not just rope. But it will tie the handle down and you need to do a quick hack to make a pull handle in that situation. I'll go over how to do that later. Second, your cooler can't be too wide. In order for these big 12 inch wheels to not rub along the side of the cooler, your cooler's width, 10 inches up from the bottom of the cooler, has to be less than 17 and a half inches wide. Here's what coolers the Camco and Fullet do fit on. I went to one of the few Yeti stores to check it out. They were totally cool here, great place. Um, they do need to work on their spelling. The wheel kits fit basically all the Yeti Tundras and their competitors up to 160 quart, except for the Yeti 105. That one's taller and fatter. The Yeti Tundra 45 and 65, those are 15 and a half inches wide if you measure 10 inches up. And the Igloo 110 quart cooler or 120 quart cooler is 16 and a quarter inches wide. So for comparison, those will fit fine there. The Yeti Tundra 105 quart is 17 and a half inches wide. It's just too wide for the wheels to not scrape. And the Igloo 152 quart is 18 inches wide. Both are too wide for the wheel kits. But if you're creative and you get 10 or so washers and a little bit longer bolt that the axle uh, uses to attach, you can extend the axles an extra half inch or so to give you that clearance. All right, first up is the Camco 12 inch wheel kit. I rolled it on cement, grass, a bumpy trail, and along firm sand. The low clearance, surprisingly, wasn't a problem anywhere. I filled the Yeti 65 up to the top with 135 pounds of water, so it weighed over 160 pounds total. Pulling it was very hard. Wheels on the end like that, where you have to pull it like a wagon, mean the wheels only carry about half of the weight and you're lifting the other 80 pounds yourself. That full, it was awkward to pull, even around on cement. But honestly, guys, that much weight is unrealistic. So I dumped about half of that water out and found it. It was still heavy, but very manageable to pull around on every kind of terrain. It was way better than carrying it. After pulling it off a curb, even it was fine. But when I tried to pull it back up the curb, that one bottoms out and scrapes a little bit. Using the cooler's rope handle, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. The cooler didn't bump my legs when I pulled it straight, but it might if you make a tight turn. The handle situation it could be better. One of my bigger concerns on the Igloo 120 quart um, was if the 9 foot strap would be long enough. Uh, it was, and it was still fine to install on that longer cooler. When this cooler is full, it weighs well over 100 pounds, so the wheels are awesome. But the kit has to attach to the handle, and that ties the handle down. So the handle opens up just enough to grab the top part of it to pull it along, but it's not comfortable at all that way. You can make a good handle just with some carabiners, some rope or a strap, and a few inches of PVC pipe for the grip. Then it works perfect. Overall, the Camco on a Yeti 65 is a 9 out of 10. It was great for the price, especially for oversized chest coolers. The one and only bad thing was when I pushed the full Yeti cooler into the bed of my truck sideways instead of wheeling it back, the wheel kit kind of got off-centered, so the wheels touched the cooler side. I had to straighten it back when I took the cooler out of the truck. The good things are that it is solid, it's easy to install, it's easy to use, and it's well-priced for what you get. It works fantastic, and I'm really happy overall with it. The Fullet Wheel Kit installs just like the Camco because it basically copied the Camco one a few years after it came out. This one lets you install the wheels at a low or a high clearance level instead of just a fixed level. It pulled super smooth on cement, grass, the rough trail, and sand. Using the higher clearance was better for pulling it off a curb. It didn't scrape coming back up. 
in deep soft sand, your cooler would be less likely to drag along the bottom with that three inches of clearance instead of about a half inch. But the wheels are the same one and a half inch width, which is about half the width they need to be for decent handling in deep sand. It comes with a handle extension, which is perfect if you have to attach it um, to a large igloo like mine that has to attach to the handle. When installing my fullet wheel kit, the axle didn't fit in the hole. Like the hole had too much paint or welding gunk in it or something. I tried pounding it in with a hammer and eventually got it in, but the engineering or quality control wasn't that great. It installs just like the Camco because it's a clone. The instructions don't show you the ratchet straps that actually come with it. If you've never used ratchet tie downs before, it'll take some learning on your part to use those. Overall, if you're okay with ratchet straps, then you would be happy with this. Objectively, they work great, but personally, it gave me the same vibe as like a fake Rolex or something. Amazon is flooded with poorly made Asian clones of innovative Western products, and that's kind of starting to bug me a little. But hey, fun fact, I found a cool uh, Chrome web browser plugin called Seller that tells you where a seller on Amazon is from. The last are the Badger wheels. I thought these would be my least favorite, but I was surprisingly pleased with these. These are a tank. They weigh an additional 11 pounds to your already heavy cooler, but they work incredibly well on my Yeti Tundra 65. The axle sits under the cooler, not on the side, so they raise the cooler substantially. It took about three 2x4s to get my Tundra 65 level. This has pros and cons. The pros are it felt really easy to pull and didn't take as much horizontal space to fit in the car as other wheel kits. That's good if the cooler is going in the back seat of a car instead of the bed of a truck. The cons are it sits really tilted. All the wheel kits say you should not sit or stand on these coolers when the wheels are on it, but this one especially cannot use the top of the cooler as a workspace or a chair with these wheels on them. Like the Camco and Fullet, these worked great on concrete, grass, and rough trails. They went up and down a curb really smooth. They are not as big of a diameter wheel, these are 7.5 inch wheels, but they are 3.5 inches wide, which makes them distribute the weight a lot better than the others while going through sand. Overall, the Badger wheels are really good, but just for only a specific type of cooler. They're tough as nails, they're simple to use, they work great on any terrain, but they are heavy and expensive. Kind of like a Yeti. Overall, for wheel kits for medium to large size coolers, Camco gets the overall gold medal because it's the most simple to use and it fits the most coolers. But Badger is a close second despite it only fitting on Yetis. Fullet and the others are third. If you already have a premium roto molded cooler without wheels, then I'd recommend a Camco wheel kit. But if you know you need higher clearance for softer sand and you're okay with the ratchet tie downs, the fullet wheels are good too. If you have a Yeti, Arctic, or similar cooler, Badger wheels are the fastest to install wheel kit. If you're mainly using a cooler at the beach with really soft sand, you'll actually probably benefit the most from these balloon wheel carts and just throw your cooler on top of it instead of getting wheels exclusively for your cooler. For all coolers with or without wheels, I'm patenting and developing a really cool accessory that will make traveling with and using your cooler so much better. If you like innovative outdoor gear and sporting goods, keep in touch by following my Facebook or Instagram page, subscribe to my channel and click the alert button, or join my email list on my blog at texaspaddleboard.com to get the news on when this is going to be available. You can find the links to everything I talked about in the video description. Thanks. <laughs> oh,